Okay, what we've got here is actually a red maple tree on the school property. But also, we have a very large vine of poison ivy growing up it. And a lot of people don't realize that poison ivy can also grow on a vine all the way up into a tree and its leaves get as big or bigger than the leaves on the tree. So these are still leaves of three, because if you come closer, here is the leaf attached to the vine. This is the whole leaf. So these are the three leaves of three, same shape. It's lost a lot of its notching, but they're still there on some of the, the leaves. And um, it's just gigantic. The other thing that will happen when it gets into this vine is that it also gets berries. People don't realize that poison ivy has berries. One of the ways that you can tell it's poison ivy when there are no leaves on it is by the quality of the vine. And if you look at it growing up the tree, ooh, I just ran into it. If you look at it growing up the tree, it's got hair all over it. So although there's plenty of vines that like to grow up trees and do their thing like that, poison ivy vine has a lot of hair all over it. <clears throat> Very poisonous still. So even after these leaves are dead, okay, your family wants to cut down a tree in the yard, they start working on a tree like this with these hairy vines all over it, and they got poison ivy later. And they say to themselves, how did I get poison ivy? They're, everything's dead. It's because the oil is still in all of the branches and vines on poison ivy. But it's amazing how big these leaves of three can get.